Alright, so welcome back into another Dragon Ball Super Card Game video. This time we're going to go through five complete decks uh, boosted in set 10. This is something I've been wanting to do uh, for a good amount of time since all the reveals in set 10 came out. Right now we have all the special anniversary box stuff out and I know everybody wants to see stuff like, for that, but it does take time. And uh, that's that's pretty much what my goal is for next week. So everything is going to be on uh, on focus for all the special anniversary stuff. So definitely tune in for that. Subscribe if you're new. Like, dislike. Let me know what you want to see out of the special anniversary box stuff in the comments below as well. And that's kind of one of the reasons. I, I kind of flip flop there. But one of the reasons why it took forever to, to make, this uh, make this video is because I was trying to be a little extra and do five complete decks and make sure that they're tested. I've been pe testing pretty much all of them for probably the last few weeks on stream. And you, of course you can find me on the link on my face right here uh, or in the description, you can always find that there too. But um, let's get into it right now. And really, again, uh, yes, in set 10, we've kind of kicked off this last Friday um, and uh, with pre-release and as well as just online events and things like that. And that's all these things are kind of taking consideration and you kind of want to wonder like you know what is actually boosted from everything and i'm going to take myself off here there you go just so you can see everything else and the first thing is going to be baby over here the uh dual attacking baby the one that takes a life and restands the thing that boosted him was this two drop championship card uh, that we're hopefully going to get after these online events from Core and as well as PBG and I think um, uh, Gen Con, do you believe, which is a whole different other topic. Um, but this one is basically when it's played, um, you get to look at the top seven and get two cards with offering uh, among them, or the skill offering and among them, and then add it to your hand. And then you could get to pitch one if you added two. You don't have to pitch anything for one. And of course, he is free, which is why he has a unique tag if you play a multicolor red, yellow baby. On the field so now you have a 16k attacker which is pretty cool because he's basically a 20k attacker um and then that's pretty much it i mean that's it's it's just good it just helps you filter out it helps you get another body on board which is really good for um super baby in general and if you have multi multiple multiple in these uh in your hand you can get two cards out, out of your deck which unfortunately are going to be 10ks but also you get to um uh thin out your deck and then get rid of this one in your hand as well which is really good and then also, uh, we do have Toa, which if you haven't already checked out um, the deck profile that I did already, uh, hopefully I'll put a card here at the top right. And um, you already kind of already know her. She's been around for a good amount of time. The reason why she got boosted is this two drop Mira in which if you are, uh, if you have no battle cards in play, you can play it for free in your hand, which gets around a lot of counter plays, which is really good. And then you activate main, you play a mirror with an energy cost of five in your hand and play on top of this card, which uh, I will go into in the deck uh, in a second and uh, we'll, we'll come kind of come from there. And then we also have the uh, Cell Surge, which he now has this nine drop in which now you can draw one and add a card to your uh, from your life to your hand from the drop, which is just amazing, right? And if you have four or more energy, you choose all of your non-token battle cards and place it in the drop area, and then you can play this from your hand. You can't play it for the rest of the turn, which is really good for successor. All you really need to do is uh, basically have a, I think the championship pack 18. From what I understand, I might have to double check. You can then play that um, afterwards. It might it might require a sell. I have to double check that. So don't, don't, don't say anything. Just know. <laughs> Either way, it is a free... Uh, nine drop and then you can play a three drop afterwards uh, from your hand if you have four more energy which ideally is at five you can then swing with this as a 30k and then you can go into the cells i know so it's pretty good and then jiren with this six drop jiren it's a nice little uncommon but i think it is amazing not only because you have a 25k blocker for green and yellow for two energy which is wild um, but also you get to uh, use the activate main in which it increases the the energy cost by three which is um just good for successor let's just put it that way uh and uh, i'm gonna go into that in a second and of course rival seeker with the invoker blue red goku and uh of course this guy is a two drop deck technically and then you get to do the activate main if you have five or more energy um you get to uh well the, the other addition is that you add and you add two red blue multicolor card extra cards from your warp to your hand and then choose one red blue 
Um, summon Goku in the energy cost of six in your hand and play on top of this card, which is going to be the one that has Invoker that basically, you can't really see my hands right now, but untaps three, and then you get to play Catastrophic Blow from there, uh, which is the whole rage right now, apparently, right? So as we get into the next and go into the thing of thing, I'm going to put back my thing right now. Basically, um, which now I'm blocking, I'm still blocking cards, but oh well, you'll, you'll, you'll kind of know where the, what they are. Um, for the, the, the baby or the starter baby chain or just the starter baby deck, basically, um, the whole idea behind it is to do the normal baby chain, get the baby Jinima out, awaken, get the basil out, and then swing as many times as you can, right? And the deck itself really hasn't changed that much. I will let you know right now. Uh, it still has the pros of having yellow access, which is why we use two of the Zamasu Super Combos. I am telling you, they are they have been pretty clutch. Like, you can still combo this, tap something down, uh, combo a Mew out or a Topo or anything else that you don't need uh, at that time, and then go ahead and use your revival effect. So, still pretty damn good. And then we also have an Aggro Batal deck, and probably the top three uh, keywords, one of the top three keywords is still offering in my wholehearted opinion. It is incredibly strong. Um, but the issue is that I think that one of the reasons why uh, not only that Surge Q kind of uh, pushed it out the format, but also all of these other decks that just have been performing pretty well and just have more and more effects, more and more versatility than um, Baby, right? I don't think Baby is like a one-trick pony, but you kind of already know what it is. That's why I put down Linear and Expected. Um, but Counterplays really hurt this. Um, the Chunks Counterplay, the, the the Frieza Counterplay, the Kill Your Heartfelt, or even your um, your Baby targets, right? That those are really, really hurt the deck, and that's kind of really one of the reasons why I wouldn't really recommend to kind of solo queue this deck <laughs> and uh, invest into it. But it is an idea if you still have it and you want to get these, and you you end up having these uh, champ packs. Um, and then Doma potential, of course, that just kind of stops your turn. Which ba basically, baby wants to get to two and then gets everything out. One thing I want to mention before anybody else does, um, and we're seven minutes into the video already, I'm just blabbing everywhere. Everywhere, I forgot to mention that these are all basically preliminary, right? They're all tested, they're all played, right? But I, I will be coming out with the article after or later on with the complete, or well, not really complete, but edited and refined decks afterwards and probably some gameplay for, for that. If I do all of them, I'll do all of them. If I don't, then I don't. These are just more ideas uh, than anything and as well as things I've been playing on the stream. Um, and one of the things I would say about this deck as far as like what's missing, what's edited, yeah, definitely the heart, um, the, the Ape Whisper um, pan would be a really, really good addition here. I have added, edited it in um, my latest build, but I just haven't edited this one. This just has all been made like a week ago or so. But this, um, th that and as well as probably a couple other things. You probably don't even have the main topo. You know, you don't really have any gates in the, in the deck. You just kind of rely on the baby chain and uh, comboing on their turn and as well as the monster super combo the bardock is really actually a really good choice I might even play this at three, but that's that's just me and then um, Maybe even the Bur Beerus uh, arrival, but that's kind of where the champ pack is right now So that is what it is and then we go into the cell surge or not cell surge um, The Jiren this is kind of a weird take and you know, I'm not a Jiren player I'm not I'm not gonna say that I am a Jiren player. I haven't really played Jiren too much. I would definitely reach out to our teammate, uh, Legend of Dross or Drossy and uh, Rob, basically, uh, to, uh, he's the res resident Jiren player, let's just put it that way. And honestly, the, the idea behind this is that, you know, we play the regular Jiren stuff, we play the promo to play him out uh, again. We now play this carousel, which you can't really see, but he basically looks at top five, gets a unison of um, specific cost of two, and then uh, any of the four or less, um, uh, universe 11 battle cards and then we play the Virginia Unison to actually control a little bit more by turn two and then you get to tap him down tap another card on their turn etc right um, and the whole thing is that by turn two you either play the Unison or you play the Jiren on their turn and then from there you go ahead and play the Super 17 after you boost him up and swing with the, swing with it at 25k usually at a battle card because you don't want to you don't want to give him another card and then go into the Super 17 uh, using three energy from there and of course topos here because of all the indestructible cards like uh, Zamasu anything anything to ignore their scales and and just remove anything on the field Which is really good with the Jiren effect here, 
but that's the whole thing getting the jury in turn two on their turn uh super 17 and three uh, on the third turn awakening from there the only downside of this strategy which i might go ahead and just skip out but i wanted to put that out there anyway um and, which is similar to the yellow dendetic deck that i came out uh earlier in the week uh, is because of that and, and if i took it away i would probably go more um successor stuff like dispo and other things like that um i just can't think of what else would be really good with this maybe the successor started at gohan that's the only thing i can think of but we do play the jiro uh to get the apes in to filter out any of the stuff in the deck and then we also just keep the super 17 or the jiren in order to get to the cell zeno as a win con um you just basically control the deck oh the the downside is that you swing with the leader so generally you have to swing and then you give them cards and super 17 is kind of like eh right it's because you want to burn them, their life you can't just kind of sit there but if you do not bad of an idea anyway pros you still have yellow access the jiren effect is really good you basically just take no life outside of like burn effects like offering and things like that the jiren blocker is amazing because you we now we have this is the first card that you can play on their turn that can pre prevent yourself from dying so if they wipe their board your board on their turn you, you have the jiren effect in effect and then you use a jiren blocker on uh, their turn you can now use the jiren effect even if they think that, that you're safe or that they're safe basically to take game and that will really tie, uh, turn the tide on a lot of different things. Control base, just like I was saying, ignoring barrier, things like the even the the uh, the Demigra um, unison is really really annoying. And there's more and more things ignoring barrier, which kind of hurts um, this deck quite a lot. Black Mass Saiyan don't really have a, an option to kind of get away from that, but you do you do have the Vegeta unison and as well as a couple other things uh, to tap it down from what i can see now it's not really being played and i think it needs to be explored a little bit more so that's just it and the center center on unison that can swing pretty much all of the red cards in their field can swing into your your battle cards is really really annoying so there you go and then we also have sales surge so kind of same concept getting the super 17 getting into uh topo as well but all the stuff that that comes with it we play the bardock unison the frieza uh charismatic villain which I, if i had to edit this i would probably go ahead and edit instead of dispo to go ahead and play um probably three of the uh the uh the five drops of masu and then we also have the apes which again will probably be replaced by the five drops of masu if you want to go more green as well as uh, hand control but i kind of like this as a play style this is just this is just me and my play style release it from evil two nimbus two time magic three apes and then for the apes and or three of the rebrands both of those are kind of essential in this because you can get to get into the drop free of charge with your leader effect just really really cool just like i said hand control unique interactions free awakening and drawing with the new nine drop cell and then the cons is if they are too aggro like Bernhan or like um vegex or something else like that uh, it's, it's just kind of hard for the deck but you do have dormant potential which again another edit if you it just depends on where you want to go with the deck um would be master roshi uh and as well as um really just master roshi and just put pump this up to four there you go but you also have nimbus so there you go um we also have uh it's kind of slow to go so like by turn three or four is where it really does stuff um but you still can use ruby enter by turn two you can still use these guys by turn two you can get super 17 out by turn three if you really um got the setup all over the player all through uh the frieza and as well as the um the quick sweep and really anything else that you want to get out maybe even the super or uh, deadly defender super or deadly defender 18 and then the quick sweep after that you know those are the type of things that you can get into uh or you can just play this out by turn three or turn four for free and then super 17 from there uh so there's a lot of cool interactions just like i was saying before um it does require a lot of text so just depending like it really depends on how you actually play out the deck uh, I am playing the Paragus simply because you're going to be taking life for free with the cell and people just love to swing at you. So I'd rather just take the draw and as well just cycle through the deck and get rid of the stuff that I don't need. Um, but you can play things like the one drop uh, Vegeta, which I would probably go and replace for that. And then we also have uh, Dredku just kind of does it better, right? He gets things in the drop. He has a lot of options. He's very versatile, right? Um, and Cell Surge does have a kind of a lot, a lot of a learning curve. Uh, shout out to Eggman, right? Uh, I, I always tell him he's a good player, but I don't think he really realized that. <laughs> but uh, I really do think it does require a, a, a certain type of player, and um, you have to come into a into it with a plan with this type of deck, right? 
and Toa. So I made a whole different different video on this. This is pretty much the, the list for it. This is three, not even a scratch, and four time rule Toa uh, with four mirror down here. But um, it's not really much to say. I would just definitely go take a look at that that video and as well as the article. She has hand control. She can overwhelm quite a lot. She can pivot from aggro because there's a lot of aggro options in, in the deck. I would even add uh, a couple different things like the Bardock that warps up to six, including tokens. And a couple of even other things, right? Just just to add to the deck and help it out. Even though this is um, searchable, I would probably have a place for there. Turn three Mira into turn four Mira is really good. Not much to say there. Red base decks kind of hurt it. Can't keep up with a lot of other top tier decks or high tier decks, such as Vegito, such as uh, well, it might have a pretty good pretty good chance against Vegito actually. But like Dredgeku and like Vegex and Voker and things like that, those are really difficult to kind of get around. It just really depends on what your sequencing is and what you're trying to do uh, or what you do uh, against that player. And then it also de requires defensive cards where this doesn't really have too much defense. It has a lot of combo power. It has not only the scratch that you can loop and as well as um, power burst and you can always play protector of the people, but um, that's just my opinion. And then of course, Invoker. I'm not gonna act like I, I really am good with Invoker, but Anthony figure over here, which I'm blocking again, I'm going to change it next time. <laughs> um, uh, took first with uh, uh, Invoker in one of the DBS uh, online premiere events, and shout out to him, shout out to PPG. Uh, it's just really, really good. Um, there's the list. I'm gonna link the, uh, the video if I do find it for that one. But there you go, that is all it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you th would change in any of these decks uh, in the next couple weeks as I get gameplay and change these decks and I focus on special anniversary box. Um, uh, I would I will have much more for you guys. Uh, subscribe if you are new, like, dislike, join the Discord in the below. Buy my merch. That's it. I'll see you next one. <laughs>